Mercio. 
Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Relay Station. It is 2022, 2022 edition. Uh, we have <laughs> we've had some internal chats uh, as as Relay, and we've decided to turn over a new leaf. This is going to be the year that Relay um, actually plays we, Star Citizen. That we, no, it's this is going to be the year that we you know we dial up on professionalism. Um, <laughs> we're going to increase content output. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, have hey, better, shiver. better chip shiver. <laughs> were you present for this conversation? Not even in spirit. No, me <laughs> either. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to the Relay Station episode one for 2022. The year where nothing changes. We're going to be the exact same idiots that we've always been. Uh, because, well. uh, now... We're too old now. <laughs> I remember that meeting. Yeah, we're too old to change. I'm in the mirror. I've got like four days worth of stubble at the moment. Three days so worth do I. of stubble at the moment. I thought, oh, my blonde's coming. Oh, no. That's <laughs> fucking grey. Oh, screw you guys. I've been going grey since I was like 25. I've got greys now. They're coming in. You can you can um... see a couple of them. Look, there's one. Do you see it? You see it right there? Yeah, but there? you look good with greys. Yeah. Plus, you like have a kid and a wife and stuff. It's, it's oh, time God. to get gray. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, welcome. We're going to. Uh... Okay, so here's here's the gist, the deal, the lowdown, the. Uh, I ran out of things. Short and curlies of it. Yeah, the short and curlies. Let's go with that. Um, we got nothing to talk about this week because CIG aren't back yet. So what we've decided to do. Uh, is we're going to talk a little bit about what we hope for the coming year in Star Citizen. And we're going to do something absolutely unheard of on this show. And we're going to play some Star Citizen. So uh, You say that every time you play Star Citizen. At this point, it's no longer unheard of for you okay, it's play not, Star Citizen. It's not unheard of. It's just like... Rare. Exceedingly <laughs> rare. And I don't... Personally, I don't believe that you are playing Star Citizen because it says the video has been provided by the Amazing Haramus. Does it still I mean, say that? They are provided by the Amazing Haramus when we have videos. It's not technically wrong. And technically, it's the only wrong that matters. So, so yeah. Um,. I guess I'm going to try and go into this and join Nakara. Yes, I'm currently sitting here waiting for him. So, uh, how's how's everyone, uh, you know, starting 2022? My niece got hurt and needed surgery. Um, yeah, I heard that. So, not great. I'm going to give it a I'm going to give it a C minus. Start to the year. We, none of us um, have COVID yet. No, none of us have COVID yet. That's what's bringing it up from like a D or an F. So Great. before now, we're, now if we all get COVID, it's <laughs> your fault. It's an F. Yeah. Well, so before Christmas on the seventeenth of December. Hang on, um, hang on. His thoughts are buffering. My thoughts are buffering. No, Nakara has. Oh, the Nakara's buffering thoughts face. Um. On the 17th of December, we got word that there was COVID in my daughter's school through the, like, the network of mothers that were texting each other. We didn't actually get, uh, like, an official notice or anything. Is he or she registered to start education in Canada? Who? I Actually, I am genuinely surprised that them, I'm sure that someone has actually named... Their new offspring, COVID, surely at this point. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, absolutely. You could probably Google that. I'm sure there's someone somewhere. How many kids are now named COVID? I feel like I feel like this wouldn't be something that people would name their kids after because, like, everyone hates sure? COVID. Though, yeah, some people hate their, hate their children. April 2020. <laughs> what? 
I've got articles here from April 3rd, April 23rd, 2020. Oh my god. Oh my god. Babies are being named after the coronavirus. So like before <laughs> it hit oh before oh, it even got really bad. children. Wow. Yeah. I mean, there are strange look, there are strange people out there. I've, I know that there's even some people that like name their kids after video game characters, which is just nuts. Right? At least that's at least that's <laughs> got a fair amount of respectability to it. But you could there's this generation that are coming up who are gonna go to school and there's gonna be like, oh, they're with the Daenerys kids, they're with the COVID kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't there like an entire like huge generation of just Harrys. There's going to be a load of further Witcher kids. They are. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I've told you a million yes. times. Don't listen to what Zerka says. We're finally going to get some Geralt's in school. It'd be great. Yeah, but is anyone going to be able to pronounce it, or are they going to go Geralt? A bowler's house. <laughs> so i have to say I, I i'm quite enjoying this there is currently a uh, a gun magazine floating in midair right beside me i don't know whose it is maybe it's mine i've got uh the good old um npcs standing on uh on couches that's a classic oh nice okay now how do i do a party thing with you okay com link There's one thing I'd like to see is... Oh, I don't want to hail you. Eye improvements like sitting on the fucking chair. But I... I, in fairness, I, I, it is in the grand scheme of things. Would you like us to work on salvage or get the NPCs to sit down? Okay, that's fair. I'd, I'd like um, a better like friends and party and team interface. Hey, Eric Scott, how's it going? It's not bad, actually, given, you know, everything. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse, but it's, you know. It's better than it was. They actually did do some work on it. <clears throat> oh, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. Ah, sweet. Okay. Did he miss it? I didn't. Oh, he did not miss it. Ooh, I can watch from here. I can watch you zooming along the train. You're currently 17.7 .7 kilometers away from me. Yeah, I am. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, on the 17th, we, we heard that there was COVID in, in daughter's school, so we started to isolate, because, like, we weren't told to, we were just like, look, there's a possible contact, we're isolating 10 days, just in case, because we wanted to be safe, because we're, you know, good humans. Um, and then, so we started the countdown then, of like, okay, Link, that means that Link doesn't start daycare for 12 days. For 12 days, we have Link straight. Okay, we can do this. So we counted down the 12 days and watched the cases in Ontario rise and counted down the 12 days and watched the cases rise and rise and rise and when we reached the end of those 12 days we were like no he's not going to daycare because we're having you know 20 to thirty thousand cases a day and they've now stopped counting so we yeah. we why yeah. would you count anymore when it's 20 or thirty thousand a day <laughs> well i have a question what's that is this story going to end with and now Cass is pregnant again no it's not oh that's not happening um, one child, two childs are enough. Um, Bree, if she counts you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fair point. Uh, anyway, so we kept Link home all last week. He was supposed to be back. We kept him home all last week. And on, a, on like Thursday, we found out that, um, the first day back, the Tuesday at his daycare, there was a kid there the whole day at the daycare. And they're two-year-olds, so no masks. They run around licking things all day. Um, 
uh, that tested positive for COVID that night. So Tuesday, the kid was there all day Tuesday. Tuesday night, he tested positive. Oh, so very glad that we didn't send him. Yeah, no shit. But also now looking at it because this doesn't mean that the daycare is closed. It doesn't mean that the other kids that were there with that kid have to quarantine or anything. They're just, they're still there. And you are wearing a nightgown. Yep. You know what I really want, Star Citizen? Beards. I want a beard. Okay. Anyway. Picturing you taking Link to daycare and there are all these two-year-olds in the window. <laughs> Just licking the pens. And the shiver, pens. shiver. That's literally happened. I literally showed up one day and there was... <laughs> There was a one of the girls there, just like her face plastered on the glass, going, uh, waiting for her mom or dad or whatever. But like, oh man, that that's that's all kids do. My being a child's changed mm. is my day. <laughs> okay. Oh. Put on my armor. Nice. I uh, I played Star Citizen last week, or this week, actually, I think it was, with uh, a couple friends, and um, it was organized by, uh, by a guy I know, and um, I lost all my shit. It was, it, it was an attempt on Jump Town, and it went oh. so incredibly poorly. That uh, I don't have any of my nice armor anymore, so uh, this is this is what I got to wear. Got what my... you're saying is we need to go make you some money. Yeah, yeah, because I don't have much of that either. Um, <laughs> I guess I could put on a. I've got. Yeah, I I lost a lot. On the plus side, you're almost certainly going to. Uh... Have another uh, reset at some point, so it's oh, not like yeah. you really lost it. I'm I'm not worried. At the at the very least, everything is going to get reset at the end of beta, and then I'm never going to play the game again because I'd lose all my stuff. You're a jerk. No, I <laughs> escape from Tarkov. It's a game with the same like model as Star Citizen of. If you die, you lose all your stuff. Unless you insure it, which if it's insured, you get it back as long as nobody loots it from your corpse. So if you die and someone loots the thing that you paid money to insure, you still don't get that thing back. That's not they cool. have also said, though, that anything you've paid real life money for, you will never actually fully lose. Yes, yeah. but what about the things yeah. that I didn't pay money for? The things that we got for being well, that, backers? Then you can lose them. So it makes the game more exciting for you. <sighs> or or in, in David's case, he doesn't want to play it anymore. <laughs> he just wants to be a dragon and just own the stuff. Sit yeah, pretty much. Like, Excuse me, have you played any Elder Scrolls game? Because what do you do in there? Because when I played Morrowind, the first dragon. thing I do, I walk into the first major city, not the city you, you get dropped off on, but the first major city down the road after that. I walk into, I think it's the second house on the right. I yep. kill the merchant that has the glass weapons. And then... Every single thing I loot from anyone in that game goes into that house. Same thing happened in Oblivion. Same thing happened in Skyrim. Loot everything. Yep. All of it. Basically, okay. it's a game. Of, it's a game of collecting everything in the game and putting it in one place. Yeah. <laughs> this is my sweet roll chest. This is my milk chest. Yes. Exactly. At some point, there's exactly. weapons in there, but. Have you seen the cheese wheel chest? <laughs> well, no, because you only need oh, one wheel of cheese. 
unless they start having different types of cheese. Like if they've got an 1848 Reggiano and a 1948 Reggiano and a 1949 Reggiano, well, you got to collect all of the Reggianos. And then if we could start getting into the Parmigianos, you got to collect all of them as well. And then if they start mixing the two and having Parmigiano Reggiano, then you have to collect those as well. And don't even get me Parmigiano? started on the mozzarellas. Don't say mozzarellas like a pretentious prick. I'm saying it like an Italian, which I am. No, you're not. You're Canadian. No, I've actually got dual citizenship. He's okay, Canadian. We'll say it half Canadian. Normally, <laughs> say it half normally. Mozzarella. Like, oh god, that's I don't even know. That sounds like you've got a really swollen tongue. Yeah. <laughs> it did, it did sound like <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Uh, um, what mission are we going to do, David? Uh, okay, so I have a Carrick, a Cutlass Red, and a Miss. That's not what I asked. I see what mission we're doing. Oh, I, I have no idea. So go and find a mission. We'll do it. I have to find a mission? Well, I mean, it's there's a whole bunch of them in your contracts, manager. Uh, so. <clears throat> Delivery, no. Search. Bounty Hunter. Mercenary? We can go shoot things. Remove claim jumpers. Legal monitors. Your belongings belong to you. Hey, Bluesy. Hey, Bluesy. Uh... Do you want to do space combat or ground combat? I've literally never done ground combat in actual Star Citizen. I've only done it in, Mar in Star Marine, so that would be interesting. Okay, I did actually do... bring my weapons with me. We're going to do uh, a security contractor evaluation. What is that about? Uh, we have to go clear a data center on Microtech of hostiles. Perfect. Let's do it. We're okay. on Microtech now, so that should be a quick trip. What ship do you want to take? Um, uh, let's go with a Redeemer. Why not? I've got to try and find a weapon because I don't have any armor. So, I'm, so I'm taking point then. <laughs> yeah. Until I can pick up. I guess I can't put that in my hands. No. Okay. Hangar 10. Hangar 10? Okay, I'll be there in a moment. I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. yes, I can. Take your time. Can I take both? Yes. Okay. I will survive with the mags I have. Oh, I don't have... I have hardly any ammo. I'm assuming my shot... I gotta I gotta do well with my shooting here. Okay. I'm... Let's go. Hang your tight. So, while we uh, get ready for this, Shiver, how... I didn't do it, what? nobody saw me doing it, you can't prove anything. What? I didn't do it, nobody saw me doing it, you can't prove anything. I saw you. I have you on tape signing a confession that you done it. That I done it? That, that you done it. I'm sorry, is that Italian? See, si. what's that? You have done it, huh? You've done it. What do you want? It's a me, yeah, it is, huh? Um. Why does Mario sound like that? He's not Italian. Since when is he not Italian? Because he lives in Brooklyn, New York. Lots of Italians live in Brooklyn. Well, they're oh, Italian Americans. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you. Or would he have a game pass? Oh my god. Oh jeez. Uh Shiver, what are you brings what? Up personal questions about his life? Is he Dom, sub, or a Nintendo Switch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was excellent. Alright. He probably subs to Nintendo Online. You guys ready to rock? I am. All right. Shiver, while we take yeah. off and possibly crash, um, what do you expect from Star Citizen next year? And to everyone in chat as well, 
what are you got? What Next what are your this year? Sorry, yes. Uh, I keep forgetting. What are your hopes, your dreams, your wildest aspirations for this year in Star Citizen? What are we gonna get? Oh, that's easy to answer, Melissa Estrada. Duh. <laughs> Um, realistically, though, um, I would hope some salvage. I mean, uh, first iteration of server meshing is this year, isn't it? It's supposed to be. Uh, David, can you share your mission with me, please? In one moment, yes. As soon as I figure out how. Go into contracts manager in under accepted and find it and then click the share button. Contracts manager accepted. I'd like to see server ah. mission coming out, seeing how that's going to affect things, and then where well, CIG are going from there, where they actually hope to. Hopefully, they'll have or be able to say, you know, look, these are the results so far. This is what we're going to try and aim for. Like, I know they've already done that, but I'm hoping that with more data coming in from this first implementation, I mean, new information based on that seeing where that's going to go seeing where that's going to come from um gameplay wise server mesh um uh, salvaging uh iterating more on what is there the power grid system I, it's a strange thing to be excited about but i'm really excited <laughs> about the power grid system. power yeah it, it gives something for people who want to focus on engineering like their first taste of what they'll be like, doing. I'm not sure why, but my ship spawned in backwards. <laughs> so I'm very carefully turning it around. That's a feature of the Redeemer. Wait a second. No, never mind. Uh, wrong hangar. I'm not used to flying out of these hangars. It is above me. That's where the door ah. is. I have always, always recently spawned into the hangars where the door opens in front of you. But this one, it's above us. Calexis, right. I know I'm broke. I apologize. There we go. Ooh, right into a storm. Uh, as usual, more ships. Yeah. More ships. Like, there's never enough ships in a spaceship game. I want to see more ships. Ah, uh, just going through things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> iterating on what is there, expansion on what we have. Like, oh my god. More ships, more guns, more weapons. Uh, both ground and space based. Just, just more, more. I want more. More is fair. Really, I, I think, I think this could be a big gear for the game. Um, I think just um, if we manage to get beyond the Stanton system this year, that'll really start to turn it into the game that it's going to become. Oh, you're optimistic. I think Pyro's realistic for this year. I think Pyro's there's no point in putting. It's no point in putting in server meshing if you're not going to put in another system. Fair point. Fair point. I. Um, How's your I ride going back there, David? I'm. I'm More trying out this stuff. turret. Maybe. Hopefully, we don't need it. <laughs> Falcon implementation we'll is this year, isn't it? Cross fingers. Um. That hopefully. I don't think we yeah. know that for sure. Um, they, they were pretty sure, non. But... They were pretty non-specific about that, understandably, because they have to convert the whole freaking game. But hmm. yeah, things like that. You know, it, it's it's. I know we're still at this stage where it's like you know, I'll tier zero of this, put it in, leave that for a good old while. Ah, oh, frick! I didn't well, know that Mr. Spock was put in prison. What? Ghost. What happened? Uh, I, it won't let me quantum to the uh, to the mission location. Oh no, you gotta. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to just get as close as possible. Yeah. There so... is another data center somewhat close. Uh, Calexis, I didn't see a Kira TV assessment of SC. To be honest. I've sort of been. Uh... A little busy with taking care of small humans lately and haven't really uh just haven't paid attention honestly all right well quantum is not gonna work we're gonna fly there manually okay 
like and i think there's there's ways to give star citizen a fair assessment right now like it's okay i was reading a um because google news knows that i uh like star citizen every once in a while it's like here here's a star citizen article from whomever so i uh i briefly clicked on one today that was from cracked um oh I was it pretty God, cracked? You didn't. i did i used to like their lists when i was bored at work um and it was complete and utter trash. Like, well, that's why. Like saying it's it's a done game basically, and ask like complaining that oh it's been in development for six years and it's still not done. And it's like oh my god, you you didn't look at anything, right? And I get no, it, no it, it, they just wanted they in, just knew that if fairness, they wrote the article that it, it was someone good would place. click it. Yes. Which sucks. In fairness, yeah. you went into a cracked article expecting quality. That was no. your mistake. I didn't. I they didn't expect, expect quality. They never <laughs> get things right. I was reading on there once. Apparently, in the country I was born, it's impolite for the spoon to touch the cup as you stir it. And I'm like, yeah, about 200 years ago. <laughs> Apparently, Napalm Death, one of the biggest, most popular grindcore bands, are death metal. No. It's, no, I, I know. They it's constant. They, they have no actual quality. They I, all bulk, shiver. Get it out. Shiver. I know. I'm. I'm not saying that they they have quality. I'm saying that it, it right. was it was trash, and that's like I've come to Real. accept that, and those I ignore because they're trash, and people oh, are gonna shit. gonna talk trash. But there are a lot of valid complaints about star citizen right like it's it's oh, come. it's they're working on it unfortunately it's, the most of the people in the media don't even know enough about star citizen to make a valid complaint yeah um <laughs> so yeah i i haven't seen what uh kira tv did but uh like i okay, find it on their youtube channel yeah it's it's completely fair to have criticisms about star citizen and it's good um Actually, uh, the Astropub was making a good point on Twitter. Ow, on Twitter this week, uh, when he was saying that, um, oh, what, what did they say? What did they say? Uh, CIG devs listen to pretty much everything we say. Oh um, yeah, totally. They don't necessarily but act on everything. No, and but they, they do. But they do listen. Yep. So, if they, li yeah, it's totally legitimate if they look at what you said and go, "I don't agree with that," and I don't want to implement that. That's their thing. That's their deal. It's up to them. If they don't yeah, want don't the game to be the way that you want the game to be, then it won't be that way. <laughs> yeah, and I can understand any. video game focused media to you know have an opinion piece on star citizen in fact is yeah all right if you look at it yeah it has been in development for a fucking long time mm -hmm. but and it isn't out yet but there is stuff there yeah okay there isn't that much stuff there all right that's fair that's fair but it looks really nice yeah it does look really <laughs> nice it, it, well, it depends part, how you it depends how you uh, how you how you measure stuff. If you just measure stuff by physical area, it's the biggest game ever made already. It, no, I think Elite Dangerous. And at the is... end of the day, oh yeah, now that you can go on the surface of planets in Elite. At the end of the day, people who like the color green will never be convinced that the color red is better. Yeah, and that's fine. Yep, differences of what make the world go round. What I want to so world goes around, my lord, what a heretic! <laughs> I sort of want to go back to what, what I hope for. So what I hope for from this year from CIG, 
and I agree with what you guys were saying. Like, server meshing is, is going to be hugely important and could be, like, a complete change to the game. Same with uh, Vulcan implementation. Um, I would also would really love more game loops. Um, more game loops is always good. More ships, always good. Hey, uh, David? Yeah? I actually got us here. Oh, sweet! We're not on the ground yet, but... We're, like... A couple oh, hundred meters from the outpost. So I shouldn't have jumped out? I don't think you did, but... No, you shouldn't jump out. Oh, look, there he is, jumping out. Yes, I can see you inching your way down the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I want to see from the CIG this year... Is basically what we've seen in 315 and now 316 is playability the game is more playable right now than it ever has been before and i hope that they do whatever they can to keep it that way yep just keep it uh, playable um it's it's a lot better right now yeah than it was a year ago Vulcan has entered the chat <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I know, but and they did so, such beautiful work on the like thruster effects on the ground. Like they they start impacting the ground from really high up. That's pretty cool. I will be right back. Carry on, gentlemen. Oh, we shall. Oh, the, um, yeah. So Star Citizen will never be the game that absolutely everyone on the planet wants to play. Nor will it, I. Don't think there will ever be a game that everyone wants to play and you know there are people right now who are backers who have put in any amount of money who may well be disappointed on launch or mm -hmm. who may well be absolutely thrilled on launch but at least you get to see how it's coming along and you have got the option of you know what I don't like the way this is going right now I'm out exactly which is all, you know, it's all fair and good. Don't matter if you don't like the game. You don't have to. Oh, man. That's pretty cool. I haven't used the weapon wheel before in, in like, recent memory. So that was a pretty neat experience. Selecting a weapon. Uh, that actually looks pretty damn good. Got, like, the 3D holograms of each weapon that you have. All right. Well, I have 30 rounds in this pistol, so hopefully that uh, does all right for me. What is the... I'm not sure what that would be called, but the uh, UI implementation? How is that handled? Because, like, GTA... I do... I, GTA is horrible, but at the same time also, I can't think of another way to do it. <laughs> What do you mean the uh oh the how is the weapon wheel handled yeah for, yeah for uh, you just hold down you like so you hold down like the one key on the keyboard and it pops up a weapon wheel and then you use your mouse to select the weapon that you want to use okay because that, that's always um, an issue with games that have got loads of controls of uh, uh, weapon wheels are yeah. weapon wheels are fucking are, are beautiful they are so nice they can be um, compared to what we had before really weapon wheels ones. oh yeah some of them are awful but but well done ones are so much nicer than having you remember when you just had like all your weapons on the one to zero keys and you're like where's my weapon again one two three four five six seven eight nine oh no it's actually on zero okay there it's the ninth thing that i selected in the meantime your character's like switching between all of the weapons on their body yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Angler Manny. And yes, we are actually playing Star Citizen. Look at this. Of course, David is still on the ship. Lazy bum. What you need now and is shop. This Price game looks really side. gorgeous. I'm actually getting good performance, but I don't know what my frames are. This this game tends to per, per, look pretty good on low frame rates. 
I'm getting 20 frames a second. That's about, that's decent for me. I return. Actually, one of my complaints is that the, um, the FPS counter, when mm -hmm. you turn it on, it, um, if you take a screenshot, it captures the FPS counter as well. Oh yeah, so you gotta you, turn it off. You, you gotta turn it off. Cause I like, yeah. I like capturing screenshots. Okay, so we're gonna head in here. Yep, I actually just, um, as soon as I got closer to the outpost, I, I got up to 30 frames a second. So that's, that's actually running pretty good right now. Hey right. Anglo. I got, my, I got my pistol out, you got, your, you got a weapon ready? I've got a pistol, yes. We have six hostiles in the base. The number has been going down, so I think there's other players here. No, there's not other players. There's security forces that we have to oh, okay. not shoot. So we have to go okay. down to the the bottom, and then we'll start seeing bad guys. The bad guys so will be in, one? like... Yeah, sub-level one. The bad guys will be, like, in evil armor, and the good guys will be <laughs> in, like, not evil armor. So um, don't shoot any cool. of the good guys. I'm going to switch over to my shotgun. Do it. Also, don't shoot Wait, each other. Uh, I don't. I only have uh, twelve rounds for this suck, sucker, so. Yeah, I've got sixteen rounds for mine. Okay, this way. All right. I'm hearing some gunfire. Okay, yep. white is good. Yeah, I didn't think that was evil armor there. Okay. There's an evil guy at the back. I think I can't tell. No, that's white. That guy just walking back there is evil. I think. At the back? I'm going to switch over to a pistol so I have some range. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sneak up on him. Oh, there he is. Got him. All right. Got three Ooh, that left. Took, that took way too many rounds. Holy, I need to get, to loot some ammo from these guys. Yeah. Two left. Can you cover me while I loot here? Uh, We've only got two left, but yes. Okay, I can switch over to my shotgun then, never mind. One left. The, oh, wow. uh, the security forces have sort of cleaned up here. No shit. Now they're all just standing around, though. Thank Bunch you, NPCs. Lazy bums. I'm gonna head downstairs and see yeah. what we have down there. So am I. Oh, I'm, I'm behind you, Jesus. I'm gonna run to catch up. I'm the one in armor, after all. That's eh, fine. I don't need armor. Just gotta not get shot. Right. My right, plan right, right. actually was to. Fuck do these loot. bases ever look good, man? Oh, there he is. My plan was to just grab some armor off one of these. Oh, you got him. Objective complete. Sweet. There are hostiles. Loot. Do you have any ammo on you there, buddy? Buddy. Yeah, we. You have some armor here, so you can. Uh... Oh, ba -da -ba -ba. No, I don't want to grab him. Ugh. I'm stealing. Uh... There aren't a whole lot of pieces of armor that you can actually loot because they have to be able to fit in your backpack, but uh, you can loot helmets, and this yeah. helmet's worth nineteen thousand UEC. So, I don't have a backpack because I didn't have armor. Oh, this is really. Oh no, never mind. So that's the volume of it. Sorry, I don't know how much it's worth, but I'm gonna go check it out. Take it back and sell it. Uh, is this. Let's loot this one. Yeah, it's it. See, this is nice. It's still glitchy they definitely need to do more work on it oh yeah but, but i also no, there's gameplay there though there's gameplay there and i also know that they will do more work on it because like yeah yeah for sure but like look there's there's a rifle that you can pick up and customize and like yep take the bones are there hopefully this isn't too boring for you shiver you having entertaining time watching us yeah, I'm. I'm. It. It. When you play a game, you don't have as much uh, motivation or time to just sit back and look at it. I'm just sat there going, "Those floor textures are fucking wonderful." <laughs> oh man, yeah. dude! Like everything in this game looks so good. 
<laughs> the artists for CIG do such great work. Like, and you can see as well that there's still room for improvement uh, with the environment itself. You know, yep. you've got these lovely, clean, crisp textures, but nice bit of mist in there or something like that. And it, it's got it, it. It has some of it in there already, but you still think it needs it needs more. It needs, it, but yeah. Wow. I'm looking around to see if there's any like loot crates or anything. There are a but couple. I didn't see any. There are a couple. You just gotta find them. I found one on the ground. Yep. It was white. All right. I will check around. Ba -da -ba -ba. Well, that was a pretty pretty nice easy mission to start with. Yeah. I I um, like this. Ba -ba -ba. I'm sorry, Algie. For uh, I would have been down to watch this, but I'm done with Star Citizen after the Carrick's left betrayed me and left broke and dead in the middle of the infinite void. I mean, your problem was the Carrick. <laughs> Fuck you. Worst ship in the um, Not worst ship in the game, sorry. But. No, I thought the Hornet was the worst ship in the game. Or the <sighs> Constellation? Was it the Constellation you said know. was the worst one in the game? I mean, that, that list needs updating. It's been a while you since. We updated it. a couple months ago. No, the, the, like, that's just looks. Looks and worst ship are different things. Oh, fair enough. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, there's a guy I here. Remember. You got any shit Way on your back? back? When it must have been uh, a branch of V2, I think. Uh, friend, bunch of friends and I, including Stormy. I can't remember anyone else. Uh, we took out my tally, landed it, got on the lift. And the entire ship despawned apart from the lift that we were on at the time. And it was like... <laughs> Amazing. We did... Uh... Oh, what it, that? It's far from a... It's very far from a finished game. It's very far from being bug-free. But... It's it's starting to be a game that you can see the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I just picked up, uh, you know, I just got a I just got an SMG yep. off of one of these guys. So now I have an extra weapon, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I've found a couple um, in here. It's actually been uh, pretty good. And check for some more SMG ammo. Oh, yeah, baby. Sniper rifle. Oh, yeah. Now I have 150 rounds for the SMG. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Pretty good for somebody who left with no ammo. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's me too, right? Like, I... I uh, you can't pick up these boxes, but you can loot them. But there are other ones that you can pick up here and there. But, like, I, I came onto this with an undersuit and a pistol. And now I've mm -hmm. got, you know, two rifles. Oh, that looks cool. No, I want this instead of that. I'm swapping out my. Did you get a? Did you get an armor suit? Oh, amazing! I now have 250 rounds for my SMG. Fantastic. Keep Some of the things ammo. like I'm trying to drag this telescopic sight over, and it's not. Yeah. Working. Yeah, I'm not shocked by that. So some, it, you know. Some of it works. Some of it doesn't. Oh, but then. If you go back into the inventory, there it is. So, so let's try that. Oh, so that's what the loot boxes look like. Cool. Yeah, yeah, uh, Anglo. It is starting to look like Tarkov. That's. I hope it doesn't Things go look a lot like, like Tarkov. Tarkov. I like that. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't go like all in Tarkov, but. Just because Tarkov uh, is a bit of a dick sometimes, <laughs> quite frankly. Well, Star Citizen has the benefit of that game already being out too, and they'll be like, oh, like like every other game, you they can go and look at what works and what doesn't. Yes. Um, every game, every game developer does that, and they go through the community and go, okay, what do people like to actually do? <laughs> I want to grab. I want to customize. 
No, I want to cut. Like, I can't. Oh, damn it. Ranta. Ooh, I found Ranta dung. Ranta dung? Is, Is that, that like... exciting? I, I feel like that's a reference to something. I don't know what, though. Now they got to really make sure that they have Rantas in the game. That's a, yes, that's another thing I really want actually is just like um uh what do you call them? Uh fauna? Yeah, fauna. Flora and more flora and fauna. They do a beautiful job in this game on I and there's not enough of it but yet yeah, but they're what they've done for the flora has been insane. Like, yes. It's so good. The flora looks really good. I hope that they can speed up their production. Um, yeah. I think like it'll go like uh, it, all the other, all the other uh, um, pipelines have gone. Yeah. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. Definitely. Okay. Let's say we head back to the ship. We should do another mission. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, I just, Grabbed a bunch of Revenant pods and Ranta dung. I'm assuming that's worth something. I don't know. Um, Look at this. I'm gonna... This is Relay. We've done a mission in Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's funny. Well, now you, you have some money, just too. Just as shocked as everyone watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, David? Yep. Did you get paid for that mission already? Uh, I don't know. That's how it works, right? It just get, you just get paid automatically. I, I, th I think so. Uh, I I don't actually know how much it was worth, but I don't think we got paid. It was twenty. It was twenty two thousand UEC. Um, but I don't know. You might only get half if you if you do it with somebody else. I'm not sure. I did not because I've only got twenty seven thousand. So what happened? What happened to that mission? Accepted. It's no longer it's under. It's no longer there. Something? Okay. Oh. Uh, Are you sure you didn't get paid? Uh, I've only got 27,000, so maybe I got paid. Hey, go Mab. Uh, <laughs> uh, my performance is Do totally you want to do tanked. another one of those? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, there's another... Just, uh, just share it with me? Yeah. That's enough trauma for one night. Thank you for coming, Algy 4. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough trauma for one night. I like it. I uh, I don't blame you. We are pretty traumatic. Uh -huh. Thank you for thank you for uh, coming to watch. Yeah, thank you everyone. We're just for having fun, watch. chilling yeah. out. Exactly. Um, like this. I feel like at some point, because Chris would probably see this and not be happy with it, they're gonna they're going to eventually flatten the grass underneath the ramp that you extend, right? Like. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, they've already shown. <laughs> they've already shown the. Um, They've already shown the grass and the plants like bending with uh, interactions. So, okay, I'm expecting I, it will the, be done. The, the way the bodies were laying, I mean, there was that one guy whose head was resting against the uh, crates and was actually responding to the crates being there rather than just clipping through, which I yeah. thought was a really nice touch. Okay, that's so a wardrobe. I am um, way too used to leaving spaceports. Eris, were you born on a barn? Close the bloody door. Uh, no, no I, I can close it from here. Can we... Oh, are the gun racks not usable yet? I don't know. Actually, I'm just... Um, I'm trying to find oh, where uh, the close exterior door button is on this ship. I know where it is on some of my other ships. Hmm... Um, like when you get in a new car and you're like, oh, which oh there it side is, is got it. And which side is windscreen wipers? <laughs> yeah, right. Headlights. <laughs> and then you, you then inevitably you're you're driving in a rainstorm while you're asking yourself that question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you right? You ready, David? I am. All right. We have lifted off. Oh, Admiral Kusanagi. Hello. Do, 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 do. Hey, Admiral. How's it going? I, ha I have a fun. I have a fun. I have a story that involves Admiral Kusanagi indirectly, but kind of directly. Uh, I was writing a VTM game, and one of the players wanted to go and raid um, uh, the East India Trade Company. 
Okay. So I had to come up with a, a name for a, an admiral. I was like, Admiral Kusinagi. Where do I know that name from? <laughs> I couldn't place it until oh, I started watching awesome. Solstice and stream. The, you know, a couple of days after, I was like, that's where. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I would do want to say while we're, um, you know, doing this, if anyone has any questions or, yeah, yeah, for sure, ask away. You can I just can't. ask in chat. There we go. Yeah. Um, and hopefully Shiver can pass them along to us. Oh, I'm watching chat. I am not. I've got multiple. I'm monitors. writing out right now from G forces. <laughs> uh, you should have got an AMD video card then. Oh god, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> and an amazing joke at the same time. Hey, I, I, yeah, I'm on a Table of Horrors, Angler. There is no Shiver anymore. There is just Table of Horrors. Shiver has ceased to exist. And the so world I, will leave the sigh of relief. I have to say... Uh, I spend mm, some okay. time on Twitter, unfortunately, but um, every once in a while there's fun things like uh, Winnie the Pooh and uh, uh, Lovecraft are both in the public domain now. Yep. So someone did a giant Twitter thread where they wrote up um, like a Winnie the Pooh story in Lovecraftian, Lovecraftian horror? like The wow. most worshipful thing in the world, I think, is the bump, bump, bump on the back of my head as I am dragged down the stairs behind Christopher Robin. Bump, bump, bump. Driving the things I have seen out of my mind. <laughs> I do not wish to stop bumping. I do not wish to remember. It's a. It goes on and on and on, but it's... <laughs> Worshipping so... the dark horses of Cthulhu is what tickets do best. <laughs> 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 the most wonderful thing about Twitter knew... is Cthulhu's are eating our brains. I, want, I wish <laughs> I knew why sometimes I can quantum to the data center and sometimes I can't. I don't really. Is it, I'm on the wrong side of the planet? Look, is that look, the deal? There's, oh, there was a. Look at that. Ah, I love this game. Yeah. Just the prettiness? <laughs> I did forget how weird you guys are. That's the defining quality. And then Nakar is just there going, why am I on this turd farm? <laughs> I, uh, Shiver, I almost agree with that. Maybe you think I'm not weird. I, I almost agree with that, but you said quality, and I don't think that... Here we go. Whee! Quality is not a term that uh, is associated with us. Uh, well, I just realized. Uh, oh, did you open the back ramp again? Uh, I uh, yes. Yeah, I thought so. I like looking out at the stars. <sighs> well, you can hit F four too. Scale. At the very top, you've got top or best quality, average, bad, made in China. <laughs> I can't close this wardrobe. I hope I opened this wardrobe to see if I could put guns in there, and now it doesn't close. So made by IKEA. Don't. I love IKEA. Yeah, so do I actually. I just yeah, I was trying to think of some cheap furniture. Yes. I bought a CD from IKEA once. Opened it up. There was no uh -oh. CD and just a load of cheap music. Um Eric, you've got like 20 seconds to save me. What happened? I teleported out of the back and I'm now falling. I think. Uh, oh, fuck. I don't even have, like, I don't see my, myself. Um, I don't know where you are. I can't I'm, see you. Uh, it's, it's over. Goodbye. Okay. I don't actually have control over camera or anything. I'm just falling. Okay. How about I go and do this mission and then come back for you? 
Do it. Because we're already, I'm already here. <laughs> oh, oh, it's done this. There. I have passed through the planet. Oh, nice. Well, you can keep falling. I'll go kill all the guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. That's okay. I knew there were some risks to flying with an open uh, cargo door. <laughs> Look, if there weren't risks, uh, we wouldn't do it. It's more fun. Oh. Have you respawned yet? No, I've got a black screen. I'm waiting to respawn at Grim Hex. Cool. Not sure oh, why I'm Grim respawning at Grim Hex. Oh, Last place you. Was oh, that your home? No. Oh, oh, deck. I don't know why I'm here. Are you actually at Grim Hex, or are you? Because that last time it told me I was uh, respawning at Port Olisar, but it actually respawned me in Microtech. Oh, I don't know. It. I haven't respawned yet. But I thought that was pretty funny. It was lying to me. Yeah, no, I'm at Microtech. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Uh, just make your way back to the spaceport, and hopefully I will meet you there in a few minutes. I have eight guys to kill down here. All right. Let's get up from the hospital bed. Well... Do, 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 do. I woke up in this bed, which is fine, except that uh, Akas actually really liked the looks of these IV stations. She was like, ooh, that looks so fun. Uh, but they should really hang some bags on them. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, well, what are people going to breathe through if they do that? <laughs> I... Uh, oh, I... What... Oh, I re... Okay. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't supposed to be standing up yet. I teleported back to on the bed and just came off it. But now I have my gown and I can throw away Perfect. my gown. And put on... I am currently descending into the uh, facility to shoot some people. Luckily, I when you eight. die, you are provided with an undersuit and a helmet. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Um, one guy dead yeah that's this is the inventory it's how you dress and stuff I am also looking forward to I seem to remember a couple of years ago they showed us like the cloth and being able to just like throw cloth somewhere um, I hope at some point you can do that with like suits of armor and medical gowns and stuff rather than, than rather than them being put down as boxes, but I know that would be a, just a horrendous amount more work, so I don't know if that'll happen. Unfortunately, um, without the help of David, I died. Oh no! I got shot. Don't get shot! Yep. I, I do love this. There's this, like, little tiny, nice, like, picturesque terrarium and they've gone and added like holographic i think they're fish i literally can't tell it also looks like a redeemer or a fish or a redeemer i can't tell fish. which a, re a redeemer fish but it's cute what a view look at that look at that tower Oh, we still have hostiles remaining. We can still go kill them. Yep. Where are you uh, spawning? My, ship, my ship's still there. I just... Uh, I think I'm on Microtech. Well, meet me at the spaceport. I will do that. Just uh, currently dealing with the whole regeneration thing. Yep. So, Shiver, watching this, does this, like... Is this something you feel like you want to play? No, it's shit. Want a refund amount? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you spend so much time on that subreddit. My God. <laughs> oh yeah. I should <laughs> buy a many pen. No, it, while it I'm looks here. lovely. It, it. It's always the usual things for me. Of 
I just don't want to spend too much time holding down the W button as I'm going to the place I want to go. Am I there yeah, yet? Yeah. Am I there yeah. yet? Am I there yet? Yep. I don't like that in any game. That's that. That's just... I don't know if that's ADHD on that scale or what. It's just I, I don't enjoy long travel times in real life or in a game either. It's like I, I just want to get there. Yeah, yeah, it's certainly, yeah, it's certainly getting better. I've really noticed that it's gotten a lot better. They, I, like, It feels like you're actually doing things most of the time. They so. have sped it up. I know I've complained many, many times about, like, like, back when they first put in these trams. Do you remember? And, like, oh, oh I just missed it. Oh, 18 minutes till the next train. Yeah. Look at this. Three seconds. Oh, look, another train. Like, thank you. Because I don't Much want better. to have to wait for the train in the video game when I have to wait for the train in real life. You know, like, like. Yep, I hear you. But uh, it, it looks like fun. It doesn't. It, I, the one thing I was always worried about uh, concerning ground combat was it being too clunky. Uh, I'm not trying to slag armor off because armor has got its place and I've had a lot of fun playing armor but i did not want armor style combat in star citizen i feel they've got a nice happy medium uh between an arcade style combat ground shooter and armor that errs yep. towards the uh more realist side i i feel yeah, like they even like need to I slow don't. it down a little bit more in star citizen as well just because of the like the negative effects of actually dying are significant. Mm. Yep. Well, well, we'll they they figure got, that out. Yeah, they. I mean, don't forget they still haven't got full medical gameplay in. Yep. And yep. that's going to make an effect as well. It's. It's. Yep. I. I would like to avoid many situations where one shot kills. I. I do not. One of the things I fucking hate about armor, yet it is perfectly realistic, and so. Uh, you know, is that you are spending so much time getting from your spawn point to where the action is. You're just yeah. like, oh, am I there yet? Am I there yet? And you might not even be halfway there, and then some someone gets this wonderful shot on you and kills you, and you're like, oh. Yeah. It's, I, yep. I it, it's a really, really hard balance, because one of the things I hate in video games is, like, I I like oh, being... Bullet sponges? not just bullet sponges bullet sponges are bad but i like long-ranged weaponry i like being a sniper and in so many games like in battlefield snipers are almost pointless right like you can uh i, th I think it was bf3 or battlefield 4 that the first shot from a like an, an mg like a like a, an LMG was a hundred percent accurate. So if you just lined it up, took one shot, you hit. Like it was more accurate with an LMG than you were with a sniper rifle. Oh, that's weird. Which was bad. And then um, that's just not programmed, right? It's not. But it's also a like it comes down to like there was another game uh, that actually has somewhat the scale of Star Citizen, which was Planet Side 2, that it was pointless being a sniper because if you hit someone, you did a little bit, like, you didn't do enough damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, snipers, be, snipers like, need to be able to, like, two-shot people. Maybe not one-shot, but two-shot, yes. But it also, you also have to have good enough connectivity that you can hit them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's... It, there's a lot of balance there that has to go into it. I think the ground combat still needs some work, but that's I like everything. I don't know if it needs work or not, because I'm not sure if it's the ground combat that needs work or the servers that need work. Yeah. Um, I have, I should go... I wish there was... Is there, is there an AI-only version of, like, or, or mode of Star Marine? Like, can you sh can you go like shoot AI bots in Star Marine offline? I don't believe so. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. 
I wish that that was an option because that would give you a much better idea of what ground combat would be like in like squadron. Yeah. Well, and I think they need to do like I think this next year. Talking about the the next year. Also, uh, Nakara, when you get here, hangar eight. I'm um, uh, just coming up to the uh, the. I'm actually in the spaceport, so I'll, cool. We'll be long. I think one of the things that we're going to see a lot in the next year is going to be things like working on the AI because they have to get ready for squadron and the AI is not there yet. And I hope we start seeing that the fruits of that labor in. And, it, and again, we actually don't really know. Is it just that the AI is running like garbage on the server or is the AI bad? And I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I don't know. Um. Because we have seen, I mean, as, as slow as the progress has been, I have really noticed that the NPCs have been getting better. Um, it used to be that no NPC did anything useful or looked good at all. Um, now there are lots of NPCs standing around doing things that make them look like real environmental NPCs. Yeah. Um, so they're coming along, but it's just not where it needs to be. Well, and at some point we're going to get Quanta and, too, right? Yep. That'll change the whole thing on its head. Um, this is a large ship. I don't think I've ever actually been in this ship. Which ship is it? You'll find out. When you reach hangar number eight. Did you manage to find a Bennu Merchantman? Yes. Yeah. That Everyone, first, first look at the BMM. Look at its Holy mouth. fuck, what is this thing? It opens its, it's mouth. So it's big like, it even feed tell. me. Uh, oh, it's a Carrick. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a ship that Eris hates. It is. So that doesn't level it down. <laughs> this ship is this ship is so impressive seeing it in the hangar though. It's fucking huge. This that's one thing that they've really oh. I don't know if they've improved on or they've just had more time to do it or they've or what or what's going on. But when the Star Fairer released, and I think still to this day, if I was walking around one, I get lost. Mm -hmm. Really easily in that damn ship. Carrot came out, able to find my way around that really well. Hello. Hello. I don't know if they've managed to improve their internal designs on ships or what, but. Oh, they're just way better. They've talked about that. Like, they're like, the Starfarer was a bit of a mess because we had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> well, haven't they said that they're going to go back and fix the Starfarer yeah, as well? They're completely redoing the interior of the Starfarer. Yeah. It's just, it's a mess right now. I mean, when, it, when they first released it, they were like, the. the we imagine this being an FPS level. And as an FPS level, yeah, I can see that. That could work as an FPS level. But it's pretty shoddy for an interior ship design. It's not intuitive. Mm -hmm. Whereas, Ooh. like the Carrick, you, you just find your way around it. Speaking of finding your way around, how? Where? where is the front? How do I pilot this ship? By going to the front of the ship? On which That's deck? The airlock. Are you on the not deck? this one. No, this is uh, this is not the command deck. This is above the command deck. You went up when you should oh, not have gone up. Maybe we should have gone through here. Like I don't like that. The up, up, up. Is this? Am I going backwards? Yeah, you're up, up, up. into the rear of the ship. Oh, that's why I'm going the wrong way. Can't even, I can't even tell where I'm oh, going. Come on. come on. Where was the... Never. Anyway. I'm just going to leave it alone. Just going to leave it alone. Leave you can it never alone. convince him that the color red's better. Don't worry, Eric. <laughs> ah, bridge. Boo, 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 boo. But I, I still boo, boo, boo. hope one day someone will mod this to be Star Trek. You don't you don't need yep. a collection of ships, just one starship for players. Ah uh, yes, but you don't Good. actually pilot it from here. Or do you? Yes you do. Never mind. Wrong one. Alrighty. I need uh, to contact ATC. Uh spaceport. All right. This is cool because it is. If we can actually get there, it also means that uh, I can get my redeemer back. Yeah. 
Man, okay. this sucker's a tight fit, though. Make sure you go straight up when you're going out, because uh, there's no room to either side. <laughs> Have they opened the... Uh, I, I will look. Try? Just a moment. Uh, -bum -bum -bum. Yep, it's open. You're good. Oh, to go up? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's not fast. She's a boat. She's a beautiful boat, but she's a boat. Oh my god, that looks cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. I'm watching all of this from the exterior view. I'm She's flying amazing. from the exterior view. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that view. Oh, just beautiful. Thank you. Just beautiful. That is so good. Uh, landing gear. Oh, look at them. I love how things fold up in a way. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, Shiver got a Transformer game in a space game. Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Camera. <laughs> okay, I don't actually know where we are supposed to be going. To the place. Yeah, I don't know where that place is. Do you have a marker on your map? No, I don't right now. I, I'm not surprised by that because uh, because I think it's not in the take you to the place mode anymore. It's now in the you are there mode. Yeah, which mean oh god, why well, can't I? Does I'm it not say in the mission what the actual location is? Um, I'm just going to check it Doesn't out. Doesn't matter. Here, I'm not actually mission. seeing anything on the bloody planet. MT data center. Uh, you should get into orbit first, so go up. Um, it's in a standard so, orbit, Mr. Aris. Exactly. Uh, uh, fine. MT, MT data center 2UBRB9-5. I mean, putting us into standard orbit with this is going to take 8 to 12 years, so... No, it's not that bad. It's not fast, but... Make sure you use your... Uh, Go as fast as you can and use the thrusters, or use the afterburners. I mean, it's also, don't forget, speed is relative. If you are on a planet, Also, you're going up at, you're also going up at like a 20 degree angle. You should be going straight up. <laughs> what? <laughs> if I go straight up, I don't go up. Yes, you do. If I go, okay, here's me going at 25. Pushing no that wonder it takes so long to get it, to get an atmosphere. You go up at ninety. <laughs> go straight up. The last time, okay. To be fair, the last time I tried doing that, I tried doing it in a reclaimer, and I started falling. Oh yeah, the reclaimer is a bit of an interesting <laughs> beast. So I really, I actually just haven't tried since then. <laughs> To be honest, because it would have been better if Anglo Manny was the one to say it, because then we could change his name to Angle Manny. <laughs> is uh, uh, Ark is C Cruise? Wow. Yes, C is Cruise. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't know what any of the buttons are. I use I'm using Game Glass. Jeez. Um, David, take a look at go to the exterior view and look at the the sunset on the horizon. Uh. Oh, how do I do that? Um, hit F4 to go to exterior view. Yeah. There are all these then, people in chat. Then if you want to do... Regulate. If and you want to go to... Like watching teeth being pulled. And if you want to go to... Um, if you want to go to, like, free look, it's Zed. I don't know if you need to or not, but... Let the fucking door open again! I'll go. I'll go close it. I gotta do something, bar. right? But she just leaves the front door of his open house open too. You know? No. I bet cast every day. Holy crap! Look at work, this. And left the door open. <laughs> no, actually, it's the other way around. Cast is the one that leaves it open all the time. What a shot. Oh, I gotta get back to flying because I'm. I don't. Oh, jeez. Where's up? Uh, 
Oh boy, you're having some troubles. I'm having trouble walking with my character. Uh, Arg, I I actually recommend Game Glass. I'm really liking it. I got a couple of the um, the Star Citizen shades or shards or whatever they are, and uh, shards. shards. Yeah, I like them. They're they are quite good. It it genuinely helps me. Oh, we're well I, in orbit. Actually, uh, does anyone? Use game glass and voice attack. Remember voice attack? Is there Ooh, any point? Yeah, in voice attack is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, can you know? It, does one just make the other superfluous? Not really. Like so if I'm I a, look I'm at. A big fan of voice attack. I I don't know if this will actually show, but. Like. I use game glass for like. Setting up flight ready and engaging cruise control and exiting seat. Um, I run it on an old NVIDIA Shield. Uh, Genius. I, I don't use it for too much. Uh, there you go, Shiver. I just closed the door. Um, Thank Nikara, you. Which, which data center is it? TMG um, XEV2? It is. Nope, that's not the one. The, uh, it is RB9-5 are the last digits. RB9-5. Oh, I think I see it. I can't. Oh, my God. This needs also, a fix. Also, Shiver. It... Shiver? Hang on, hang on. I'm trying to work out hosts. So hands on stick and stick and throttle. Hands on stick and stick and throttle. How many hands do you have? <laughs> 87. Oh, hang on, hang on. I Sorry, gotta... Nikara, what were you asking? I, I just wanted to geek out for a moment because it's the first time I've actually experienced it. Walking around the, the ship while it's in flight and your character is stumbling around because of the G-forces from the flight is really cool. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, look at this Ooh. stupid bloody game. That's that's one of the things that really appeals to me on the larger ships, and it's the most stupid things for someone to get, you know, really quite into, is the fact that you could be on any part of the ship, you don't know what's going on out there, but then the alert rings through, or there's gravity <laughs> affecting you, and you're like, something's going down here. Let me just crawl over to a turret. <laughs> That was basically what I was thinking. Do you see Is the it pretty right now? And the sun... Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Oh, wow. Is that ever a hell of a view? Jeez. Like... It's ridiculous. Okay, okay. When Did they I... fix that rendering bug, it's going to be really hard to tell this apart from like real space pictures. Well, weren't... Um, oh, uh, the Planetary Society... Um like interested in talking with star citizen about exactly that they're gonna do uh they're gonna do a podcast about it i think yeah, yeah. which is which is really bloody cool okay yep. i've got a root set i'm not seeing so, that by the way if anybody does has, hasn't listened to it if you want a decent space podcast i mean there's a bunch of them but planetary radio by the planetary society is really good would you go so far as to say it's stella yes uh, how do I QT? Uh, you aim at the thing, and can then I you not hold from down the seat. Feet. Uh, you probably can from the seat, but remember when I was complaining about not being able to QT to the location? No, like I'm not getting the spool. Oh, that's weird. Um. Hmm. Just give me a second. I'll go to the lower bridge and see if I can do it from down there. Ah, uh, the interesting things when you're learning how to fly a ship. Oh, there's a lower br Do you have to take the elevator yep. to the lower bridge? Yep. Oh, there's, a, well, the, oh, there's a elevator at the back of the upper bridge. It just goes down one level. If it, now it's down there, and if I fall, I'm going to get hurt. Yeah, don't fall. That seems the solution to me. What do you think, Shiver? Don't, don't fall is a good solution? I think that's good advice. All right, I'm jumping in the pilot seat. I'm taking control of your ship. Is that like don't starve? Well, oh, there's actual seats down here. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. He could, he could fall just as long as he misses. Whoa. Oh, God. 
Oh, that's weird. Ooh. There we go. Okay. <laughs> to look. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oof. My controls were messed up. I'm good now. I'm on, top of the, I'm on top of the world. Literally. Why do I have no... Exterior. From here it looks like... That in VR. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. Have you heard of the game... Oh, Outer... This is really weird. You're in front of me. <laughs> have you heard of the game Outer Wilds? Yep. Um, have you played Outer Wilds? Yep. A friend of mine uh, installed a VR mod for Outer Wilds. Ooh. Um, and the thought of it just... Even just the thought of it makes me want to vomit. Outer Wilds has, like... Like you go up and you flip into the gravity of a different planet like there's just yeah like, it's insane it's oh i don't think i would want to do that i would i would like turrets i would so, like uh you and you i would like star citizen to support vr at some point why is this giving me troubles here do these seats not work oh there it is co-pilot seat Your ship's quantum drive is not working very well. I can't wait for these to be able to do more. Like, what does the co-pilot here do in the Carrick? You know? What do you? What controls do you have? Comms. Or do you have any? Oh, you've got comms. Okay. Well, you can. <laughs> I can tell you what you can do right now. <laughs> Request landing permission. Um. Why, why, oh, why, oh, why is this being darty? Okay, well, da -da -da -da. since since Nakara is driving around, I'm going to take a moment to talk about how the Carrick is an incredibly ugly, ugly ship. Um, oh, God. We have to sit through that again? <laughs> <laughs> it actually, I mean, it looks good there. Like, from certain silhouettes, it's nice. Probably from the sun. No, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot nicer in person than it is in pictures. I'll tell you. It's just. It's too wide and too. Yeah, it's too it's, uh, it's too, too girthy. Fat. Yeah. Are you uh, having some trouble? Some trouble flying this thing there. No. Um. The quantum drive will not engage on the target, and I also can't get it to focus on any other target. So. Here, let me try. Problem. Maybe it's because it's not your ship. I don't know. Maybe. I will jump out of the pilot seat. Cool. Um, first, though, before I jump out of the pilot seat, I'll aim us at our actual target. How about that? Sounds good. Sound good? Yep, that sounds good. Ba -da -ba -ba. There, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one? I don't know. I, I think for the next year of Star Citizen, I hope for more of this. I hope for more, like... This is what? Gear... Oh, God. This is year 10. Yep. This is year 10 of Star Citizen's journey. Um, Arg Scott, I love you. Yes. Um, I get the... Do you get the reference, though, Eris? No. Uh, the Trouble with Tribbles... <laughs> Star Trek original series episode. Uh, it's no. one of the, what the Klingon, one of the Klingons says to uh, Montgomery Scott to antagonize him into a fight. Ah, no, I don't get that reference. Star Trek. Meh. Nope. Oh, oh my God. God, this view is out the front of the ship is insane. It is. Anyway, um, we're ten. All right, years I'm gonna in. jump out of the pilot seat. We're ten years in. We've been able to jump into the game for what, five years? Uh, I have what seen what the do you episode. Mean, what do you mean, game? Uh, hangar module and others, and uh, since 2014, so seven. Oh, okay, years. So seven years. We are well, now. Eight eight, if, you, if you're counting this as the tenth year, then eight years. 
Eight years. This this is now the first time that I want... Look at the view! I know. Holy it's, fuck. It's nuts. My this god. Is, <laughs> it's the first time that I want to play Star Citizen. Shiver! It's too pretty! <laughs> I don't even know if the location is showing up on my map. I had it for a while. Um, and then I was having so much trouble quantuming there. I, I really want them to fix this. Hi, David. Hi. Like, now all the names are gone. Oh, there they are. They're yeah, back no. again. And now they're gone. Now they're back. Can I zoom in just enough to find the one that ends in five? Which is literally right next to another one. Because of course it is. Route set. Oh wow. The city's right below us. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Holy shit. Uh take a look. If you go to the exterior view and look uh, east or right. There's the, like the sun's the sun's shining off a lake over there. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Oh, wrong button. Always wrong buttons. Ba -na -na -na. Oh, that yeah. There's the lake. Look at that. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, man, this game is stupid. This game is stupid, and I just want it. I want more of yep. it. That's what I want for 2022 is I want more of it because it's now at the point where it's like, yes, I, I would, I, I will play this. Okay. It's not, it's not working. Oh, that's fine. We're, we're at the end of the show anyway. Um, that was, uh, that was a lot of fun though. It Got was. Tool around. Um, and if we hadn't, if you hadn't decided to jump out of the back of my ship, and it would have been uh, just fine. Oh, yeah. Blame me. <laughs> Who else's fault was it? <laughs> if air... Uh, it, I mean... Doors open on every ship, and you get blown out into space, and you're like, oh! Should have, should have been Who flying better. If your that? flying hadn't been so uh, uh, erratic... Uh, is it just under us? Or is it on the other side of the planet? It's on the other side of the planet. It's like 12 or 1400 kilometers uh, away. Oh, well. Yeah, it won't it's really hard. It's really hard once you're in this state. We would probably... You know what? It would probably work better is to abandon the mission and then start a different one. Probably, but... but... anyway. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Yeah, thank you for watching us. This uh, was actually a lot of fun. Um, this game is... And Happy New Year. Happy New Year, yes. Yes, Happy New Year. Um, Shiver, thank you for joining us, even though... Yeah. You know, we just dicked we're around. Thank you for having me, even though we were just dicking around. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, what are you up to this week? It's a good question. This week uh, is... Uh, we've got the finale episode of London by Gaslight, uh, part two Ooh. of the finale, which is... Let me double check in your time. Table of Horrors. Uh, we might be playing a game earlier in the week, something, just to make sure I don't end up killing myself or other people around me to relieve <laughs> stress. I think that's all we've got for this week. But we've got lots of things <laughs> planned and coming Good. that are killing me slowly. And it'll be Sounds fun. about right. Sounds about right. Um, David? Yes? Are we going to have a game show on Tuesday? I don't know. We'll have we might to, have a game uh, show. We might have a game show Tuesday. We'll have to see. I have there's... played a lot of games since the last time we had a game show. I have as well, but not as many as I would have liked. Um, to be honest, by the but... way, one of the games that really suffers from the bullet sponge problem is Uncharted. Yes, uh, I play Uncharted on easy. I I probably will for the next one too. It's just annoying. It's it's a better story than it is a game. Yeah, for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, 
I played Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 over the holidays, and I died roughly 140 times in each game. Yep. Uh, Anglo, it was really good to see you again, man. I, 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 yeah. I, hope, I hope you're doing well. Um, and yes, Algae... Oh, it was it the wrong crosshair? Ugh. I don't know. It, the UI needs some work. QTing needs some work. The party stuff needs some work. Inventory needs... Everything needs some work, and but... It, with every single one of those, I'm like, well, it's better than the last time I tried. <laughs> yeah. That, the, it's coming along. That's the other thing, is I love coming back to it every... Like, once every patch, you know? Every every I think, I couple think months. now it's almost to the point where I could play pretty regularly and not get frustrated with it. I could play it regularly. So I, I've thought about this, actually. I would play Star Citizen a lot more regularly if I didn't have other games that I also really want to play. Like, I've got finished games that I want to play, and I'd rather play the finished games because they're done and wait for Star Citizen. But there there is... You guys are exactly right. There's a light in the tunnel. I see it. Mm -hmm. And that's a really nice feeling. And uh, I hope you guys honestly, enjoy the feeling as well. I, I'm going to tell you right now, if any if any like rational game reviewer gets in a ship and sees the view that we're seeing out of the Carrick right now, they're going to be like, okay, it might not be done, but oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, now give like me a moment I, give me a moment because I'm going to try and do something that I'm very very poor at but I'm going to try once uh, Shiver gives me the instructions on how to do it um, oh god I don't even know what that is Shiver you're, you're causing me problems you have Twitch open no I don't have Twitch open I'm going to try and raid someone so that this continues for you guys, because... Can't you just do, um, Shiver, can you do slash raid? Yes. Um, alright, I will... Slash raid. Oh, Nakara, are you able to do it? I'm gonna try. I'm, no, oh, I'm not logged into, um, the Relay account, but I am mods, so oh. I don't know if it will work. Okay, so what's, uh, we... one second. No, I can't do it. So it's slash raid, yeah, and then the person... Okay, we're going to try this, uh, and just come back next week. There probably won't... Sorry, what's that, Shiver? Don't forget to press the end stream button after you do the raid. Yes. Because um, <laughs> that's called Very me. important. I will do that. Uh, I will say, join us next week. We're probably honestly going to do more of the same stuff, and then we're probably going to mm -hmm. keep doing this every week until CIG come back. So do that. Uh, check out Shiver's shows, follow Table of Horrors, I wouldn't recommend following us, but if you can, if you want, but uh, have fun. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Stay Check safe. the links down below for more socials to do with Relay, the yeah. Discord, the Twitter, every all that good stuff. Bye, all. Excellent. Did that work? Yep. <clears throat> Look at the top of the chat box. Oh, yes, I see it. Bye.